Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Essential Training Series. So, we have done about 35 videos and in those videos I try to cover the basics of Java and a bit of uh, object-oriented concepts as well. And right now I want to take a moment and I want to test those skills with you guys. So, I'll be making a couple more videos of the examples such as how do we uh, sort arrays and search in arrays and I'll give you a challenge as well so uh, this video is going to be an example of arrays how do we use them to make I'll be making a program such as uh, finding the tallest student in the class so that's being said let's get started hey guys if you want to make a program to find the average height for all students in the class to make the program more flexible we will ask the user to enter how many numbers of students in the class ahead of time and then use that value as a size of the array. After all students have been entered, we can use a loop to find the height of the tallest student and the average height of all the students in the class. So that's being said, let's get started. So the first of all, let's import a scanner class. So just press enter here so import java.util.scanner all right and then we're gonna create a scanner object scanner I'm going to name it in is equal to new scanner and then system.in because I want the input from the console all right so we have created that now I need um, an integer variable the reason why it's going to be integer because the student number cannot be 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 uh, it cannot be half right so that's why the data type of the num student variable is going to be int so int num student all right then semicolon all right so now let's uh, declare an array so the data type of an array is going to be double and then the syntax of creating an array is while you type a data type and then square brackets and the name of the array object oh, it's okay so now we got that now let's print out to the console or user that how many students in the class so I'll type s out and I'll ask the user how many students are in the class okay alright so the next step we're gonna do is we're going to ask the user to enter an input so to do that Let's use that int variable is equal to in use that scanner object dot next dot int right. So we got that as well. Now let's in, uh, instantiate the array. So I'm going to say height which is an array is equal to new. Okay, let's make a space here to fix up the tabulation. All right, so new and then add a data type. Okay, double. And then say num students. All right. So now the the value of the heights, the students uh, value of the heights, is basically whatever the number you type in, on the console. Now I need a loop to go through each students and get the height for the students. So I'm going to use the for loop. So type for. Add parentheses and int i is equal to zero semicolon and then add a condition now so i less than i'm going to say num students all right so the follow will be running until it reaches the number we typed in for the num students all right so add a semicolon again and then increment all right so i plus plus all right so down here add a code block here now and then printed a system right in the in the loop that enter actually yeah enter the heights all right and then I'm going to use an array object with square brackets and now I'm going to use I as an index for the array all right so next is equal to in dot next double right so it's gonna keep running it's gonna keep asking for the height and then index will start from zero okay all right so next we're gonna add another statement here let me just fix that okay so at this point we got the heights for every students in the class 
To get that the tallest height in the class, we need to use a loop now. And then we will compare that height to the rest of the heights we got. Alright, so let's say for before the loop, sorry, I've got, a, I've got to declare a variable. So double, okay, and then say max edge height, okay, is equal to heights, okay, so I'm going to say zero, okay, remember erase indexing start from zero, okay, so that's going to be the height, I'll just declare that, add a semicolon here, and then use the for loop, so for Okay, so since we have the height for max value, the one indexing from zero, so now I'm going to say int i is equal to one. I'm going to start from the one this time. Semicolon and then add i less than height and then dot length. So whatever the numbers we have in that variable, okay. In heights okay it's going to keep running for that okay it's gonna go all the way and compare with all the numbers all the uh, heights we have in the array okay so let's increment that as well so I plus plus all right so to compare that with uh, with every numbers I have to a condition statement which is the if statement so I will say if max height is less than height okay let's say add square brackets and i then what it should do i've got another max height then so i'll type max height okay is equal to height in the array and i'll type one and then in the arrays add i okay because that's the integer uh, variable we're using to compare the values, all right? So, so far we have the tallest height in the class. Now we need to print it out. I just wanna mention one thing here, as you can see that in the if condition statement, I didn't add a code block. So on the if statement, if you're just uh, declaring one statement, then you don't need a code block, okay? But if you use the multiple statement, you need a code block. But anyway, I will add that. It doesn't really make a difference. So let's get out from the for loop now. So now what we want to do is add up all the heights so we can find the average of the heights. So let's declare another variable now. So I'll type double and I'll say total is equal to zero. Okay. And then we're going to use a for loop now. So for, I'm going to say int i is equal to zero and then i less than height dot length and then increment that i plus plus okay let's finish that with that and then let's come down here add a code block and then here i'm going to say total and then add an array so every time i'm going to it Every time it runs the program until the length of the height, so it will add one. It will add the next value to uh, to an array. Next, I've added a system out dot print line, and I've just in double quotation added the tallest students in a class plus a max height. Okay, it's going to print out the max height, and then we got system dot out dot print line f instead of uh, ln. So I use the f modifier, uh, which I can use that percentage sign 4.2f so that's what I've, I've already explained this in other videos so check that out if you want to learn about modifiers so comma instead of the plus total divided by numbers of students all right so here you might be asking that I'm dividing an integer uh, variable to basically that's going to be the integer value right so integer value to numbers of students so number of students can be five point whatever so if you divide 5 by 2.6 or 2.8, whatever the decimal of value, that's going to return a decimal value. So that's why it doesn't really matter here, okay? So let's run the program now. And I would say, let's say, how many students in the class? I would say 6, okay? So let's say 5, 8, 2.3, 6.5, 7, 4.2, okay? 6.4. 
Alright, so now I've got the result. The tallest student in the class is 8.0, which is right. Okay, it's here. Alright, and then the average of that is 5.40. Okay, so our program is working 100%. So guys, uh, that was it about arrays. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an example. So what you can do with arrays and loop and you can combine them to make a cool programs like this one. And if you have any question, let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at awaysmirza01. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.